on to today's video and on today's video i'm going to show you how to make use of your phone as the webcam so on your pc so if you probably like streaming or maybe you want to use your zoom but you want to make use of your mobile device this tutorial and this particular step is going to help you also note that you can also make use of these steps uh on your ios which is iphone so um the first step or the first thing to do is to go to your play store and also open uh, your PC and then you download this uh, this application called Camo Studio um, just type in Camo Studio and then also search on your mobile phone Camo so um, this is the application right here by Reincubate so you click on it uh, make sure you download from here you click on download for Windows and then it's going to be downloaded and also on your mobile you also have it downloaded i already have it downloaded on both device so um once you finish downloading you are going to find it on download area on your pc install it on your pc and also install on your mobile now um i've actually have it installed this is software right here so you double click to start installing it so after finishing installing on the pc i did not do anything also note that if you want to live stream or you want to uh, screen record also making use of uh, your phone camera you can actually make use of uh, uh, OBS studio so I already have that downloaded also I'm going to show you guys how to set it up um, so the first thing you need to do after installing your uh, camo studio is going to be right here click on it to have it open so once it's opening also open it on your mobile phone once it's opening it's going to take some steps and it's going to display some information so i think i already have it installed here let me just go ahead and remove it and then um wait for it to open on your pc so this is the load area and this is your pc area so once it loads up this way do not forget this area is actually important so click on next right and then you see all of this you can actually uh set what you want to use it for streaming and content creation that's what i chose uh, you can choose any other one either you want and then you say uh continue or you skip but then uh, just know that if you want to continue i'm going to actually give it a name and then i'm actually going to skip because i don't want to give it a name now this place is actually very important do not forget this is uh using your iphone or your android as a webcam so you need to download this on your on your mobile device also so i already have it downloaded so i'm going to click on continue now this particular area is going to be showing your name like this way like so so if you wanted to have it to be displaying your name this way you just put the name or you should just put your social media at but then i'm just going to skip that because i don't want that but this is actually very important this is very very important so now you notice it says complete install now if you do not install this particular software it is not going to be easily to be enabled with um, either team uh, zoom or obs so go ahead and click on this to install the necessary software so um, confirm that you want to install that by clicking on yes and this is going to start installing the software now if you do not install this what is going to happen is after you finish installing and connecting your mobile phone with your cam software your um obs studio or your zoom will not recognize it but if you install this software they are definitely going to recognize it so click on ok and you confirm this right here is not my phone camera this is actually my webcam you can see um it's actually very poor now to connect my phone camera you notice right here where it says devices when you click on the drop down area it's going to show the devices that is already installed on your device now this on default is from the two uh, device now if you want to connect making use of wi-fi you click on pair right here and then on your mobile phone you notice where it has this uh network icon you click on that so this is going to show you uh it's going to show you an option to scan the barcode move it over to the screen and it's going to start scanning the barcode once you finish scanning the barcode it's going to load up and it's going to be displayed on the pc so once it displayed on the pc you notice it says active on my mobile right now this is the pc this is my mobile and it's actually the back of the camera that is actually showing so you can turn it to face me and you are going to be seeing my face hey guys this is me right here so um 
I don't have a very good quality phone so that's the reason why you are seeing it this way now another method I'm also going to show you is to connect with your USB cable now let me go ahead and disable this to disable this click on this area you notice it disconnect automatically just back out because once it wants to disconnect it's just automatically removed or you can also click on this gear setting to delete it you notice it says connected so it's actually connected but then um, it's not active yet you notice it says not connected if you click on this drop down area it's going to load up and you can see it displays and I can select it now it's currently active so immediately you close the application is going to end up it's going to end it automatically but if you have it open it's going to be active now let me go ahead and remove uh, the connected device and then I'm going to try another de another method now to do it with a usb cable now let me remove my usb cable and plug it to the laptop pay attention to the side or the notification on the laptop you will see when my laptop has been plugged now i just plug the usb cable you can notice on this right area and also on my screen you notice this is enabling wired connection now this is going to connect automatically on my device but for your own case you actually have to enable uh, USB debugging if you did not enable USB debugging which is this this is not going to actually work very well but once you have this turned on it's going to work perfectly well if you do not have it turned on just go to your uh, about and then go to your build uh, your software information and then you go to the build number and then you tap this multiple times up to six times but you notice it says developer mode is already on tap it up to six times to enable developer mode once you enable developer mode this is going to be active now the next thing you need to do is to come right here click on the drop down area and it's going to show your device right there you can see it's showing my samsung now click on it actually uh, because I have it connected on my device, it's supposed to actually come up automatically without uh, going to select uh, the Samsung device. So um, let me uh, unplug from my phone and reconnect. Now, if you click on this area, right, I noticed this was not installed. You notice where it says install the uh, compatible package. So it wasn't installed. So we actually need to install it. I forgot I did not actually install that. So that is the reason why it refused to connect initially. So after doing this, it should be able to connect successfully. So let's wait for that to complete and then we continue our video. All right, so um, this has installed installed successfully and you can see right here that it's successful so do not forget that while the installation was installing it is actually supposed to show you a, um, a notification for you to confirm so you just click on yes you know how it installation works so once it's done click on done and then I'm going to eject my phone and then plug it back in usually you should restart your PC it should be should work perfectly well but um, I do not have time for that so I am not going to restart my PC. So uh, this should start working just about now. You notice it says Android device connected, right? And click on share. And then immediately it captures the screen, it's going to start loading up. So this is supposed to have loaded up. Okay, finally connected, right? So, um, Still taking time. All right. Uh, it says I'm active. I wonder if it's okay. It's paired. All right, guys. So um, now it's paired. You can notice this is actually my screen. If I'm turning my phone around, this is actually my screen. All right. To show your face, click on this plus icon and then you select video capture. And then you click on confirm or you can go ahead and rename it i'm just going to confirm it now the next is to click on normally this is my webcam right now you click on the device and then you select camo and also don't forget what i told you initially if you did not actually choose uh install the camo software it's not going to select the camo and you can see this is the back of my camera and so you can just compare each of them which one is better I think this is actually better but all you just need is for me to have a phone stand and i do not have a phone stand so it is obviously not giving the exact thing i want so after you've done that click on okay 
this is going to be right here and if you want your face to be showing a little you can just move it to the position where you want it and then leave it there and the next thing you do is to say uh like capture your screen or like capture your device you can just do uh just about anything uh, let me say display screen confirm and then confirm so it's going to be displaying everything on my screen but do not forget you have to bring the other one in front so this is going to be in front this is going to be behind and everything is going to be recorded and it's just going to be perfect so guys uh this is it for today's video please let me know if this video helped you and also if you have further questions doing this and sorry for my clumsiness and so many mistakes along the line but i just hope this it's helpful and if you have any other question regarding this i am going to uh tackle each and every one of it so bring it keep it coming and i will see you guys on the next one stay safe and peace